What's up guys, this is Cat Ross here, East Down Aquatics, and I'm here with the 55 gallon kind of planted aquarium. So yeah, let's get right on into it. So the last time you saw this, there were a lot of plants and a good amount of fish, but not nowhere near to what it is right now. So let's get right on into the fish first, because I know that's the most exciting part. So what we got going here are a bunch of orange marbled angelfish from Al's Discus and Fish on Facebook. Check him out, Al's Discus. I got it from him, really good deal. But they were they were originally dither fish, like because he had some Altum Angels, I believe, or Discus or some some fish that he got in that were a little bit more finicky. So he threw these in with them, and they actually. He s sold them to me for a really cheap price after they were done acclimating the new fish or whatever happened. And they ended up being doing very well. I only had one die and I got about 11 angelfish from him. I had one die and then I have one with a deformity and that's it. So that it's very good for the price I got them. But, so what we're looking at here, let me turn off the lights, we're getting some glare. So we got those angelfish, orange marbled angelfish. We have some Australian rainbows and ornate rainbows all together swimming around in here. Nice school. We have a Geophagus brasiliensis right here. Um, I was told uh, the guy at Broadway Aquatics, which you've heard on Fort Wayne Fish Tanks too, that's our LFS local fish store. He told me this would be a good one for moving around the ground, cleaning it up a bit, and I can see that he is correct. Uh, yeah, they move it around quite a bit. And then we have this albino rainbow shark in the back. And he does a little bit of cleaning, just kind of messes around, cleans up a bit. And then I have two Siamese algae eaters, one of my favorite fish that I own. Great cleaners. And then I have I believe two or three Julie Corys in the back. Yep, right back there. Just hanging out. And then I have a single apple snail, which has done well. Um, he just sits there for a while and then gets up and moves. Barely ever, but he's kind of neat. Then I got the basic Malaysian trumpet snails and stuff. And then right back there is a lucky bamboo, which sticks up at the top. And I have a little LED growing it, and it's been doing very well. It has grown a lot. And then I have a 150 watt heater on this. An Aquion 75, quiet flow, 75 gallon. And a Penguin 350. Lots of driftwood. And then some plants. This is like Japanese Rush, I believe it's called. And then I have Java Fern Windelove. And then some Contortionist Val and Tigerphilia. So here's my question for you guys. What are some good plants that you think would work with the Phoenix 24-7 Planta Plus? Because a lot of my plants are not working too well. Not doing too well. I think it's partly because of, oh yeah, the fish I didn't tell you about. The Festivum. He's pulling at him and stuff. I started feeding him lettuce and he'd rip it apart. So I'm pretty sure that that's a problem with that. Um, I also have an albino cori and then a couple uh, brissonose plecos. One that you can see in this reflection. Wasn't doing too well in another in the, his last owner's tank and it didn't get enough food. So they gave it to me for free just to see how it did in here. So yeah, what are some good plants you think I can put in here? Um, I want to do CO2, but I can't really afford it right now because I'm working on salt water. Which is right over there. That bright glow. But yeah, I'd like to do CO2, but I can't really afford it right now. But if you guys have any advice or anything that you can tell me about this tank, something I can do better, just let me know. I am running the Phoenix 24-7 Planet Plus still might be a change in the future I'm not sure I'm not too impressed with it honestly 
But thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.